Hi guys, I'm Ted, and this is your 30 minute easy wake up flow. So we're just gonna do a few movements here just to kind of break up some of that morning stiffness. Perfect little sequence to do before a nice long bike ride or a big hike, or just to wake up in the morning and go about your day. So perfect little 30-ish minutes. So you're gonna sit up nice and tall, relax the shoulders. If this doesn't work for your knees, you can always sit cross-legged, but otherwise a little quad stretch right away, maybe top of the foot stretch. Palms up, eyes closed, relax the shoulders. Start breathing in and out of the nose. So you draw the breath in and out of the nose. Slight constriction of the throat. Just draw the breath into the back of the throat. Kind of sounds like Darth Vader. But the idea is just to relax and kind of soften and bring your attention and your awareness to the breathing and to the sensations and and regardless of the mind, just forget the mind for a moment, pull back from the mind and just let the mind sort of process whatever it needs to process, but stay with the breath and the sensation. Right? Sitting tall, a couple more breaths. Breath is your tool to help you relax, to help your body relax, to help your mind relax. and then bring your palms together at the heart. Take a moment, set an intention. So something simple for you, easy, just to add a deeper meaning to your breath and your movements. Uh, releasing stress, healing, strengthening, manifesting something in your life. Just a driving force for you. While you breathe and you move, you have something to come back to. Open your eyes. So if you're already feeling a big stretch, you can stay right where you are. But if you can handle a little more, go ahead and lean back some. Lift the knees up. Stretch the top of the feet and the shins and breathe. So just that stretch is going to stretch the anterior tibialis there in the front and top of the feet here. And if that's okay, once you get to your stretch there, push the heart up. Drop the shoulders back, drop the head back and breathe. So now you got a little back bend, a little shoulder stretch, a little... Leg stretch. Take about three more big breaths. One more big inhale. And then all the way down forward. Exhale. So you come onto the hands and knees. You're going to pick your feet up. And you're going to kind of roll your ankles. So from here, just a few times rolling. One direction, letting some fresh blood come back into the ankles. And then opposite direction. Good. And then we're going to do some cat and cow tilts or cat and dog tilts. As you inhale, you're going to lift the heart up arch. And then as you exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone. So, so many of us have back trouble. You want to, this is a perfect little movement. Easy inhale. And then long exhale. Just to break up some of that stiffness and some of the congestion and some of the tightness. Creating better circulation, creating more blood flow, creating more energetic flow. Inhale, exhale. So always lead by sensation, right? Never, never just force yourself up into a pose. You just want to guide by your breath and your sensation. Let's do one more. So inhaling up. Exhale around. Good. Then we're going to go side to side. So come back to neutral. Lift the feet side to side. So shoulder and hip come together one side. Shoulder and hip together other side. So there's a little snaking the spine back and forth. Inhales and exhales. But you're compressing the disc and then releasing and compressing and releasing and compressing and releasing a couple more here. Great. Back to the center. One more nice big inhale, lift up. And then actually before we come up, we're going to do a little, a little balance pose here, a little kind of core balance. So left leg back, right arm forward. Left leg back, right arm forward, extend. Start to feel your glute engage. Start to feel your 
back start to warm up a little bit, the muscles start to activate. And if you're more flexible after a couple breaths, you can bend the leg, reach for the foot, grab that foot, get a little lift, a little quad stretch if you just pull, but hip, quad, shoulder, spine, keep breathing deep. One more big inhale, and then without snapping back, just leg back, arm forward and lift, and release. Good, and then other side. So round the back, tuck the tailbone. Back to neutral, opposite leg, opposite arm. Breathing here, focus and lengthen as much as you can and breathe. Just warming up so far, just warming up, easing into it. Good, then if you're okay, you're gonna reach back, grab your foot, pull on the leg, get a little quad stretch, and then maybe start to lift up a little shoulder stretch, breathing. Good, one more nice big inhale. And without snapping back, leg back, arm forward, lift and release. Good child's pose for a moment. So just drop it down, head down, rest for a moment in child's pose. Good, and then downward facing dog. So you come up, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. And just as a review for some of you guys, or if you're newer, Fingers are spread, palms are flat, hands are shoulder distance, feet to start are about hip distance. And the idea is to kind of lift the tailbone up, push the arms straight and long, bend your left leg, push the right heel down first and stretch the back of the leg. Good, then switch sides. Good, and then straighten both legs. Coming up on the toes when you're ready, walk softly to the hands, first one. And then from here, extend your spine. As you inhale, you can have your hands on the shins. Look forward, that should be a leg stretch. And exhale, fold all the way down. All the way up, nice big inhale. You can do that with the knees bent, hands together at the heart as you exhale. So now we're gonna start through some sun salutations, we're gonna do three of them from here. Arms up, nice big inhale. Folding forward down as you exhale. Remember if the legs are tight, back is tight, you bend the knees halfway up as you inhale, look forward, step back as you exhale. Take a big inhale, lower all the way to the mat. If you can, chin first all the way down, and then easy back bend, so shoulders pull back, gentle little lift in the spine, and then downward facing dog. So you can go back to the knees and then tuck the toes, lift the hips, and downward facing dog. Breathing here. Fingers are spread, palms are flat. Tailbone lifts up. Breathe. So there's a gentle stretch in the back of the legs and the calves, but in the hamstrings, but you don't want to round the back like this here. You want to always kind of lengthen that lower back. One more stretch. And then up on the toes again, walk softly to the hands. Extending that spine as you inhale, look forward, fold down as you exhale, stretch. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands together at the heart as you exhale. So we're gonna do two more just like that. Big inhale again, lift up. And exhale, fold. Halfway up as you inhale, look forward. Step back as you exhale. Take a big inhale, lower down as you exhale, elbows in all the way to the mat. And then gentle inhale in the spine, lift up. Good, and then exhale, downward facing dog. 
Breathing here. So feel each one as if it were the first time. The body starts to open. The body starts to lengthen. Fingers are spread. Shoulders stretch. Stretching the back of the legs. Breathing deep. You can tilt the pelvis up a little bit. Tilt the pelvis up. You get more into the hamstrings. And then up on the toes again. Walk softly to the hands. Good. Extend your spine as you inhale. Look forward. Fold down as you exhale. Stretch. Good. All the way up. Nice big, big inhale. And then hands together at the heart as you exhale. So just a rhythm of movements and breath. One more here. Big inhale. Lift up. Fold forward down. Exhale. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Step back as you exhale. Take a big inhale, lower down, exhale. Easy in the spine, lifting up and then down, facing dog. So that was our third one. So now we're going to move on from here. Take your right leg up behind you. Hold it up there a couple breaths, stretching the back of that left leg. Breathe. So extending the shoulders, dropping that heel down. If it's too much, you just bend the knee a little bit, but just get a nice big stretch in the back of the leg. Take one more big, big inhale, and then bring that leg all the way forward to the hands as you exhale. So from here, come on the fingertips. You're going to create a little space for your, for your body here. So as you inhale, we're going to go five times. You straighten the front leg, flex the foot as your hamstring stretch. As you exhale, bend the front knee, sink the hips down. Now you got your hip flexor stretch, so keep the back leg straight and strong if you can. As you inhale, straighten and flex. As you exhale, bend and sink. Keep that going. Inhale and exhale. Good. A couple more like that. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Good. Now, turn the back foot flat down. Come up to warrior one. Holding warrior one. So warrior one, back foot is angled forward. Hips turn forward. Upper body forward. Breath smooth. Gazing up if you can. Sinking down. Just breathe. Good. And then after a moment or two, kind of being in the pose, warming up a little, going to clasp the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Lift the heart out, pull the shoulders back, breathe deep. Good, and then take the arms back up. Nice big inhale, hands to the floor as you exhale. Take the leg back, we're gonna do our vinyasa, and then we'll change sides. So lowering down, easy inhale, you can lower all the way to the mat. Gentle inhale, and then down dog as you exhale. Good, left side when you're ready. Take the leg up behind you, hold it up there and stretch the back of the right leg, breathe. Good, one more nice big inhale and then bring that leg all the way forward. Exhale. So just like before, five times as you straighten the front leg, you're stretching the hamstring and as you Exhale, bend the front leg, get the hip flexor stretch. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Keep that going. Inhale. Exhale. A few more times. Inhale. Feel it out. Hamstring stretching and then hip flexor stretch. So these can be smaller movements depending on your body, depending on your hips, depending on your legs. Do uh, a couple more, why not? Inhale, exhale, one more. Good, now like before, turning your back foot flat, come up to warrior one, holding warrior one, breathing deep. Good, so hips turn forward, sinking down a little bit, breathing deep. Clasp the hands behind you. This time you're going to switch. So there's a natural way to clasp. Flip it one, one finger over. Sort of change the brain pattern a little bit. Lift the heart up. Pull the shoulders back and down. Breathe deep. Good. 
One more nice big inhale. Exhale. And then arms back up. Big inhale. And hands to the floor as you exhale. Take the leg back. Vinyasa or straight to down dog. So if these become a little bit too much for you, skip them and just go right back to downward facing dog. Hold it here a couple breaths. Tailbone lifts up. Gently press the thighs back. Extend the arms. Breathe. Good, then up on the toes again. Walk softly to the hands. Extending that spine as you inhale. Folding down as you exhale. Chair pose from here. Bend the knees, reach the arms up. Inhale. Stand up, hands together at the heart. Exhale. Good, take a full breath. We're going to go through that cycle two times, minus our little hip hamstring stretches. So sun salutation B, they call it. So you can do the best you can. You'll get it after a few times. You kind of get the rhythm, but just do the best you can. So back to chair pose when you're ready. Inhale. Fold forward as you exhale. Halfway up as you inhale. Step or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lowering down. Easy inhale. Lifting up, pull the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your right leg up behind you first. Inhale. And bring it all the way forward, exhale. Warrior one, big inhale, back foot is grounded down, reach up. And then hands to the floor, take the leg back, vinyasa, lower down, inhale up, easy, exhale. Down dog, right into the left side, take the leg up and bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up. And hands down, leg back, vinyasa, inhale, lift, and exhale, downward facing dog, hold it here, breathe, so fingers spread, palms flat, lifting the tailbone, stretching the back of the legs, breathing. up on the toes. You could walk or you could hop forward. Extend your spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose from there. Inhale. Standing up. Hands together at the heart. Exhale. Good. Take a nice big full breath. And then one more cycle. So back to chair. Inhale. Folding as you exhale. Halfway up as you inhale, step back as you exhale, lower down, easy inhale, heart open, shoulders pull back, and then downward facing dog, right side first. When you're ready, take the right leg up, bring it all the way forward, set that back foot, then reach up, inhale, just a moving meditation, hands down, take the leg back. Vinyasa, lower down, inhale, lift, exhale, down dog, left side, take the leg up, and forward, warrior one, reach, hands down, taking the leg back, vinyasa, inhale, and exhale. Good, hold here, breathe, couple breaths, tilt the pelvis up, extend the arms, stretch the back of the legs, and breathe. Great, and then we're just gonna step a leg forward to pigeon pose. So from here, one leg forward into pigeon, so the idea here is to stretch your hip, your glute, your IT band, your hamstring a little bit, but mostly kind of back in this area, right? We're going to stay for about a minute from here. So if this is too much on the knee, you can change the angle a little bit and bring the foot down, or 
you can just sit cross-legged and fold forward. So you sit with your legs crossed and fold forward. And otherwise, one minute, you already have 45 seconds left. So just relax here and breathe. Again, should be stretching kind of outer glute, outer hip a little bit. Should be zero pressure on the knee. You can even maybe lean in a little bit to get a deeper stretch if you feel like you need a deeper stretch unnecessary, if you already have a good stretch. If you're super flexible and you don't really feel this, then you can take the <laughs> knee a little bit further out to the side and you can angle. My right leg is back, but I can, you can angle it further to the midline. Just a couple more breaths here. Good, and then we're gonna switch sides. So same thing, other side. Go ahead and come on up and go back to down dog for a moment. Give that leg a little stretch. And then we're gonna switch legs, so same thing. Coming down, finding your right spot. So remember, no pressure in the knee at all, mostly outer hip, outer glute. If you're more flexible, you take the back leg, angle it toward the midline. Less flexible, maybe even sit cross-legged. So just relax and breathe. You got about a minute from here. Noticing the mind, so making sure that if you're in this quiet position and stretching and breathing, that the mind isn't taking you out. So you stay with it, stay with your breath. Good, smooth, even breaths. Just a couple more here. slowly come up. You're going to go back to downward facing dog and just take a, a couple moments straightening that leg. Give it a nice stretch. Good. And then we're going to come right down onto the knees. Cross the legs. We're just going to kind of do a little easy twist and then a shavasana. So go ahead and lie on your back. Pull your Right knee into the chest, give it a nice big squeeze in. That's it for our little morning flow. Now we're just going to uh, balance off the back, take a couple minutes in Shavasana and be done. So twisting all the way over the body. Opposite arm goes back behind you. If this is too much for the shoulder on that arm, then you just put the hand on the rib cage, right? But you're ultimately twisting the spine. A couple nice big breaths. Your back may crack, that's totally fine if it does. <laughs> and then switch, so same thing, opposite side, give it a good pull in, a gentle tug in there. And then over to the opposite side, twisting. Wherever you can find the best oh, spinal stretch, that's who you want. Good. And then back to the center. We're just going to go a couple minutes here. So just lying flat on your back, eyes closed, feet flop open. Big breath. And just totally, totally relax. You don't want your chin up too high. You don't want it down too low. So just a natural place. Shoulders away from the ears, palms up, and then just allow everything to just completely, completely relax.
So you can stay there as long as you want. <laughs> if you're feeling good, you can just rest a little bit longer. Otherwise, you're going to slowly start to come back. You're going to roll to your right side. And then you're going to just sit up for a moment, just sitting nice and tall. We take a short moment here just to close the practice. All right, so sit up nice and tall, palms up, eyes closed, breathing in and out of the nose. So part of the idea is just to drop deeper into your, your heart center, right? So we have so many thoughts that go through our minds daily and, you know, you have high stress job, then the mind is working even harder, and so it's nice just to put that all aside for a moment, and just sit and relax and breathe here. So, just a few moments. Paying attention to the moment, to the sensation, to the breath. Regardless of the mind chatter, regardless of anything that's happening outside, you just focus on your own world, right? Your own inner world. Very good, then bring palms together. Make a heart take a moment of gratitude, gratitude for every breath. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that that helps you wake up a little bit and go about your day fantastically. Hold on, I'm going to do that one more time. Take a moment of gratitude. Gratitude for every breath. Namaste. That's it. That's our little morning easy flow. So thank you very much for joining me. And I hope that your day goes fantastically. See you soon.